there. Today's topic is YouTube. Do you know what it's like to be misunderstood? That's, I think that's the theme of this video is being misunderstood and being put into a box that you didn't ask to be put in and shouldn't be in in the first place in light of something that's happened recently which I'm sure most of you are aware of. <laughs> I kind of wanted to talk about something related to that topic but not that topic because I don't know the people involved and I don't know anything specifically to say on that or to comment on that and so I'm not going to. Um, and I wanted to talk about YouTube and how it's treated in the public eye and how YouTubers are treated because I feel like there's a disconnect with YouTube celebrities and normal celebrities and other things. There are lots of different forms of fame. There there are lots of different forms. There are people who are famous animators, famous directors, famous baseball players, movie stars, film stars, television, doctors, dentists, authors, and every other field you can think of. But each of those people are treated still as individuals. Whereas a lot of the time with YouTube, it just is grouped into all YouTubers. For instance, if a film star was found drunk driving and now they're having a whole bunch of articles written about them and what's going to happen to them, not one article will say, oh, all film stars now have to be worried because this one film star messed up. That doesn't happen. That person is treated as an individual, but with YouTube, often the headlines are something around YouTubers, you need to watch out for them. It's just all generically wrapped together. If one thing happens, suddenly all of us are in trouble. And it's just kind of not fair. We're all different. People are different in so many ways. And I feel like with media, if one thing happens to one YouTuber, suddenly it's happened to all of us. And suddenly all YouTubers are at fault. And that's not necessarily a good thing. But it's not just YouTube. Really, it's social influencers. That's the word they use, social influencers. And you know what? We're all different. We're all different in our own aspects and we all have our own talents, we all have separate audiences. And the thing is, this is still a great platform. YouTube is still an amazing platform where you don't necessarily have to go through a lot of hoops to post something online, you just get to post something online. If it's deemed as being indecent, then it is taken down or it is dealt with. People are still held accountable for their actions on the site. We've definitely seen people go through difficult times because of what they post online as well as what they've done in real life and what's been discovered about them. There's been a lot of discussion about this and the discussion should continue. Like with me, for example, when I first got to the UK, there was an individual whose name I will not announce because they've already been called out and I just don't want to be added to the list of girls but they did ask me several times for favors in exchange for doing videos with them on their channel and promotion. And that, I did not take that well. So I'm glad they're not really around anymore. And that's thanks to you guys. It's thanks to everyone who calls those people out and holds them accountable. And that's the kind of community we are. We do hold people accountable when they've done something wrong. At the same time, we as a community just hold the individual accountable and you don't group all the YouTubers together because you know we're all individual people. It would be great if the wider media and public could see that. There are many different authors, there are many different athletes, there are many different film stars, and there are many different YouTubers. And I don't like being put in a box by someone who doesn't understand me or understand what I'm doing. I have a lot to improve on in my life. I also have more that I want to do besides just YouTube. I'm not a person that's here to get quick fame. That's not the type of YouTuber I am. And there are many people out there who are like me, just want to have a good time with the people who care about them and want to make creative videos and possibly go on to greater things in life. This is a platform that enables you to do that. It's possibilities. It's possibilities in the best form possible. And I'm proud to be here and I'm proud to know people who have done so many amazing things and have shown those amazing things through video and through putting it online, through their own resources, their own editing, their own production skills, their own talent. We are a community, we are friends, we are people of like interest as well as diversity. We are individuals and some of us are shy, some of us are extroverted, some of us are shy extroverts as Connie would say. <laughs> it's not fair to put all of us in a box because do you know the amount of people that are on this site? <laughs> and it's a discussion I've had with other YouTubers quite often with how YouTubers are treated in correlation to the media and general public. And we always come to the conclusion that there's just a lack of understanding that hopefully one day will be fixed. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. And have a lovely, lovely day! Bye! Bye, bye, bye! Stream that light, stream that light.
lights. Straighten up lights for our video. Oh, by the way, I'm switching my schedule to Wednesdays and Fridays uploads um, rather than the Tuesday Thursday uploads because Tuesday is like a maintenance day on YouTube and it's been crap. <laughs>